Spooky horses are fun at Halloween, but no other time of the year, especially if you have one. It's, it's, it's hard to have a spooky horse. They undermine your confidence. You don't feel safe. They dictate where you go, the speed you go there, whether you ride or you don't ride, what you wear when you ride, where you ride, who you ride with. So spooky horses are not fun. And in fact, it is what probably one of the number one reasons people actually contact me and communicate with me about helping them in their horsemanship is to help them with their spooky horse. So I've developed uh, a course that's dedicated only to helping people with spooky or distracted horses because sometimes distractions are just as frustrating. So your horse could potentially be distracted because he wants to be back at the barn. He could be distracted because you're trying to take him away from his buddies. He could be distracted by something as simple as the grass. Maybe he's distracted by the wind or maybe he's distracted by the time of day. You know, maybe you've gotten there to visit with your horse and it's three o'clock and the horses are supposed to come in and be fed and now your horse is just unmanageable because that's all he's thinking about. So in this course, I'm gonna walk you through the steps to take to help your horse be connected to you and not be connected to all the other things around you, to all the other things that seem far more important than you. So if you're interested, click on the button below this video and join us. You'll see all the information. You'll see how you're going to learn through video. You're going to learn through audio. You're going to learn through some uh, written exercises that you need to go out and do with your horse. And all you need is a halter, a lead rope, and an internet connection. You won't be riding your horse for this challenge. Later on, you can learn how to bring all this information to your riding, but that won't happen today. So join us, join us for this challenge. See you on the inside.